What's up you guys, Warnick Revolution here, back at you with another video, and today we've got a box of dimes. It's not a full box of dimes though, unfortunately. It's only $100 in dimes, but they are customer after all, guys. You know what that means? That means there's a greater chance of getting silver in these rolls, because a lot of people just don't know what they have coins-wise. They just roll them all up, return them to the bank. So hopefully in these dime rolls we score some silver. Uh, I think I'm going to link a video where we did score some silver um, in dimes up in this corner. Um, if this video doesn't turn out, you probably won't even see this, but um, I've gone through 200 in dimes pretty recently. And some of them, like half of them were customer after all, the other were machine after all. And we didn't, we didn't find anything. We, 200 in dimes, we didn't find anything. But these are customer after all, so I'm, I'm, I, I guess more stoked, I guess, that there could be some good stuff in here. But uh, you really never know. So we're just going to go through this today and see what we can find. But let's just start with the first roll and go from there. Look nice though. These rolls are like they kind of look new, but like they're maybe an older style a little bit. Looks like a new dime to me though. On the end, I'll catch you guys up on the first find though. Be back in a second. Oh my gosh, guys! We just found silver in this roll. Second roll I opened. Uh, so here you can see two rolls I unopened, or not unopened. I opened. And I can already see the first Roosevelt dime ever made. The first year they made them. Right here, guys. Finding silver and not the way I would normally think. I usually edge search, which is um, going like this with the dimes. And seeing which one's got a silver edge. I'll put some dimes in my hand so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't really go like this, so see that white edge or that... Um, bright silver edge and with those clad edges that silver it's a 1946 roosevelt dime probably the oldest roosevelt dime but that i found that silver that is a really good find to start off with i am i want to go back to this bank as soon as possible and get the rest of these dimes because they look like they're all rolled by the same person they're all like this kind of wrapper they may or may not be rolled by the same person, but if we keep getting this lucky and finding silver dimes in, like, not that many rolls, this will be a very, very good hunt. So, very good start. <laughs> Starting off with the dimes, I'm happy with that. So, guys, we just opened roll nine. Looked the, at the edges. I saw this silvery edge. I knew it was Canadian, though, because it was too new-looking, I guess. The grooves are more separated, I think, compared to our silver dimes yeah they just look different so i'm like it's gonna be canadian diamond it is it's a 1979 but i just wanted to point it out because we're getting closer to those silver years in canada uh 67 they had uh 50 percent silver nickels i think not silver nickels silver dimes but if you find a 66 it's gonna be 80 percent, i think Someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I know I'm probably wrong because I haven't thought about that in a while. But um, we're getting closer to those years with that one because we've the other ones we had, the other Canadian dimes we've had, we found two other ones. We found a two, 2015, the one you've seen, and then we found a 1998 in the last roll. But um, we just found a 1976 or a 1979. So we're getting closer to those silver years in Canada. Don't just toss Canadians aside if you don't think they're silver. Uh, like 66 and before, they're like 80% silver. So um, be on the watch out for those ones just because it's a Canadian and you don't think it has silver content. It does, depending on the year. I just wanted to point that out just in case you guys didn't know. But anyways, let's continue. All right, guys, we came across a weird roll here. I'm not sure what roll we're on right now. Uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. So this is roll 15. And we got something in there that isn't a dime, or it's a foreign coin at least. It's a, this, this coin right here. It doesn't have a reeded edge. 
What is it? <laughs> it is a foreign coin, like I thought it was. Five something, so it's like a nickel, I guess. Uh, Cayman Islands, 2008, uh, with Elizabeth II on there, because it used to be a colony of the of Great Britain. But it looks like it's got a crawfish, maybe a lobster on there. I don't know what the difference is, to be honest with you. But um, it's got something on there, which is really cool. I've never found one of these coins before, and I'm happy I found it in the dimes. Even though it, you know, it doesn't give us much value. I don't think it, you know, it's worth five something in the Cayman Islands money, but it's a cool find regardless. I am happy with that. Never found a coin like this before. We found Panama coins before in the dimes, so that's cool. Nothing like that. And I think it is actually a little bit bigger than a dime. Um, let's do like a little comparison real quick. So here's the coin we just found, and here's a regular U.S. dime. Maybe they're about the same. I mean, it wasn't a roll with the dime, so. It looks a little bit bigger, but I don't think it is. Is it thicker? I don't think it's thicker either. Maybe just my eyes are playing tricks on me, guys, but that's a pretty cool find regardless. We are still looking for silver, of course, but I've been like doing um, edge searching, as it's called. So just like holding them up like this and seeing which ones have a silvery edge. So far, none of them have the past couple of rolls. But let's keep on search and see what else we can find. So guys, we're in roll number 20. And something I forgot to mention is we don't have just $100 in dimes. We have 150 I don't know why I said 100 earlier. I'm pretty sure I said that at least. Um, but I did want to mention something about this roll. This roll has three Canadians in it. You can see them if you get like trained eyes. But they're like... They're all silver and they're nice and shiny because I think they're new. But uh, here's one right here. And then the rest of them are like just through here. So the 2014, put that one to the side. And then we got this one next. It's a 20... I think it's 2003. Yeah, 2003. And then we got another one. Right here. So this is something bad that happens in customer wrap rules. A lot of people, when they find, you know, they get this back in change or something like that. Um, Canadian dimes, they just toss them back into circulation by rolling them up and taking them to the bank. Because I don't think these go through coin machines because they're magnetic. So our dimes aren't magnetic, but these dimes are. So I don't think they go through regular coin sorting machines. So that's why people put them in customer wrapped rolls. So it's a 2014 dime. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of it besides just spending it at some place. And they're going to have to accept it because <laughs> that's the only dime I have or something like that. I don't know. But uh, just something to point out that there was three Canadian dimes in that roll just because people shovel them into these rolls and they give them back and change here in Michigan. It's kind of a common theme. Theme. That we go through, I guess. So, there's no silver in this roll, though, unfortunately. I don't think it looks like silver, but I don't think it is. 1989. Nope. There's like 68, 65s, a lot of 60s um, dimes I'm finding. So, maybe there's more silver in here. Who knows? We've got uh, 10 rolls left in the box. Let's see if we can find some more silver, guys. Roll number 25, guys. I am confident we have another silver dime in here. It is this white one right here. I don't know if you can see that that well. I'll probably, I'll zoom in so you guys can see. Right there in the roll. Right there. Pretty sure that's the silver dime. Doesn't look like a Canadian to me, so we'll see what it is. It is a worn one, but it is a 1947, the second year of issue for the Roosevelt dime with the Roosevelt on there of course but a 47 Philly I'll take it it's silver it's awesome sweet three silver dimes so far in the hunt and we have five rolls left hopefully there's more silver in here
Let's continue, see what else you can find. Well guys, this is the wrap up of the video. This is what we ended up finding in uh, $150 worth of dimes. I'm definitely really surprised that we got silver, which is really awesome. Uh, we got a 1946 being our first one. We got a 1964 being our second one. And then very near the end of the box, we got a 1947. But uh, I don't know, it's the 46 of Denver? No, it's a 46 Philly. 46 or 47 Philly and a 64 Philly for the silver dimes. But that's that's still really awesome. I'm whenever I hunt dimes, I'm never expecting to find silver, so to find three silver dimes is pretty good in my opinion. For Canadian dimes, we found quite a few. We found a 2009, a 2011, 2014, uh 1980, 2014, 1994, and then of course I tossed them back into the discard bin but um we also got this very cool foreign coin that i'm very happy about definitely don't find a lot of these i mean not, i don't i haven't found one of these whatsoever before so it's awesome it's five cents i'm guessing five cent coin from the cayman islands which is really cool 2008 happy with that for sure never found one before so i'm happy with the whole finds and everything like that it was a good hunt for sure that's where we have all the rolls hanging out and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like share this video with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it um comment down below your thoughts on the hunt and i'll see you guys in my next coin roll hunting video peace